What's happening everybody? Today is about the radial filter in Lightroom. It's the little round tool, you press Shift M and it comes up and it makes all sorts of magic happen. Another thing guys, on Monday I'm going to be doing a weekend review. So we're going to go over the weddings I had in the previous weekend and just talk about things that happened and you know challenges and successes and all that sort of stuff. So every Monday I'm going to try and do a video about the weekend beforehand. Usually I do two weddings a weekend through summer. Um, so there should be a lot of cool couples, a lot of uh, cool things to talk about. So keep an eye out for that on Mondays. All right, so let's jump into Lightroom and we'll have a look at this radio filter tool. I'm here in Lightroom with Sarah and Dan's wedding. I've just picked out a couple of images. Um, we don't need a lot to demonstrate this. I've got a few different extremes here, but let's just go. I'll, I'll edit these really quickly and you can see how I use the radio filter tool. So this is a shot of Dad getting a whiskey out while Sarah gets her makeup all done. I'm just going to make this one black and white with my little preset here. So here you can see um, Sarah's out of focus because I wanted Dad to be the subject of attention here. So I've underexposed quite a bit on him to get her highlights all, all under control. So I'll just press Shift M here and you can see what I'll do is bring the shadows a little bit and the exposure up a little bit. Make sure it's feathered out. I have it usually on about 90 and invert it. And then all you do is just pull it out and you can see if you don't have it inverted it looks it can look a little bit unnatural sometimes um, but I yeah usually around 90 I, I find is okay and all I'm going to do is just bring it up sometimes the shadows work better it depends what depends what's in the image but in this situation and then you can just kind of move it around and and see where it fits properly and that's pretty much done so we're going to make this one color bring it up a little bit again shooting under to preserve those highlights out the window and all I'm going to do is get the um, radial filter tool here and this time I'm going to bring the shadows up a bit see if I bring the exposure up it just looks a bit weird so we'll just bring that up a little bit and then we'll go with the shadows bring the highlights down a little bit and we'll do a little bit here for effect maybe get rid of that light and looks pretty straight to me maybe a little bit off but yeah that's pretty much it so you see from that to that and if we turn the radial filter tool off so you can see if you just bring up the exposure it doesn't look quite the same if i go back to how it was and turn that radial filter tool back on makes a big difference for the depth of the photo i find next photo this is a perfect example again um, exposing for these beams here because if we were to go over they'd just look horrible so bringing it up a little bit that'll be a nice black and white again and there you go pretty much as simple as that you can see where I'm going here with these right this is another cool one for um, demonstrating sort of the you know if, if you want to keep the background really nice and dark but you just want your couple to be a little bit you know better exposed or even if you want to go a little bit moodier so bring the overall shot down this one i put in here because it was basically just a total missed shot um you know obviously i had other ones in there but i delivered this to the couple and i delivered it as a kind of moody art piece so all i'd done was made it black and white brought that exposure right down and then i'm just going to go for town on this radial filter tool making it really 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 moody See, and you can see there, zoom in here and get rid of that little spot. From that to that. So the key thing with radial filter tool is obviously just making a little bit of depth in your photos where it could have been flat before. Use the radio filter tool to highlight areas in the photo that you want to highlight rather than just bringing the whole exposure up or down or however you want to do it. So thanks for watching today's tutorial guys. There's a lot more in the making so keep an eye out and I'll see you next time.